Hi guys, thanks for checking out my video. I'm going to walk you through the Cuisinart IC30 ice cream maker. So let's get started. The Cuisinart IC30 comes in a nice stainless steel finish. It comes with a large 2 litre removable bowl and a plastic dasher. The 2 litre bowl is the largest of any domestic ice cream maker and allows you to make up to 1.5 litres of ice cream at a time. I recommend churning no more than about a litre at a time as the more mix there is in the bowl, the longer it will take to freeze. The longer the ice cream takes to freeze, the larger the ice crystals will grow and the sandier the texture is likely to be. Before you can start making ice cream, you need to freeze the bowl overnight. It's a good idea to cover the top of the bowl in cling film and then place it in a plastic bag. This will help prevent moisture from freezing to the inside of the bowl whilst it's in the freezer. Any moisture that is frozen to the inside of the bowl will melt into the ice cream which can have an adverse effect on the creamy texture. Cuisinart states that the bowl be frozen for at least 12 hours but I would recommend leaving it in the freezer overnight to ensure that it is fully frozen. This is one of the drawbacks of the large 2 litre bowl as it can be a bit tricky to fit in your freezer. It's important to make sure before you buy the machine that your freezer is big enough to accommodate the large bowl. It is also very important to get your freezer as cold as it will possibly go when freezing your bowl. This is because the colder you can get the bowl, the faster it will freeze your mix during the churning process. The faster you freeze your mix, the smaller the ice crystals are likely to be and the creamier the texture. I set my freezer to super freeze which gets the temperature down to about minus 27 degrees celsius. It takes about 18 minutes to freeze the mix when I set my freezer to minus 27 and about 20 to 25 minutes when I set it to minus 18. A good way of checking whether the bowl is fully frozen is to shake it. If you can hear anything gushing around it means that the freezing gel in the bowl isn't fully frozen. The machine comes with a large and extremely durable plastic ice cream dasher. Unlike other machines where the motor rotates the dasher, the motor on the Cuisinart rotates the bowl. This means that the dasher doesn't get stuck when the ice cream starts to harden. The dasher incorporates between 20 and 30% air into the mix, producing a very dense and creamy ice cream. Super premium ice creams have about 30% air incorporated, whilst economy ice creams can have as much as 100% air. The Cuisinart also comes with a large opening in the lid which allows you to easily pour in your mix and add any mix-ins during the churning process. My only criticism is that the dasher doesn't get close enough to the side of the bowl to scrape off ice cream that freezes there during the churning process. In theory this can have a negative effect on the quality of the ice cream as the layer that is frozen to the side of the bowl acts as an insulator, slowing the release of heat from the mix to the bowl. I use my thumb to push the dasher against the side of the bowl and make sure that it scrapes off any ice that is frozen there. This can get a bit annoying as you have to stand next to the machine with your thumb in the bowl until the mixture is frozen. I would like to see a spring-loaded dasher in a future Cuisinart model. The spring would act to firmly push the dasher against the side and scrape off any ice frozen there. An issue a lot of people have with this machine is the noise level. Here's a recording of the machine in action for you to get a better idea. Although the machine is relatively loud whilst it churns, I think the creamy results far outweigh the annoyance caused by the noise. The machine finishes churning after about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how cold the bowl was when it was frozen. After 20 to 25 minutes, it produces a nice, stiff, dry ice cream that sticks firmly to the dasher. If after 25 minutes the ice cream is still runny or drops off the dasher too easily, continue churning the mix for a further 5 to 10 minutes. If your ice cream is still runny after about 30 minutes, then it is likely that the freezer bowl is too warm and wasn't properly frozen. The ice cream comes out of the machine at about minus 5 degrees Celsius. Although it can be served directly after it has been churned, it will have a light consistency and melt relatively quickly. 
I recommend transferring the ice cream to a plastic container and freezing it for a further 4 hours to get the temperature down to around minus 15 degrees Celsius. At minus 15 degrees Celsius, the ice cream will have a firm, scoopable consistency and be ready to serve. So, would I recommend this machine? Absolutely. Out of all the machines that I've tried, I still think the IC30 makes the best ice cream. It has a large bowl with the capacity to make about 1.5 litres at a time, makes excellent quality ice cream with low overrun and a dense and creamy texture, and at £67 is about a quarter of the price of the more expensive machines with an inbuilt compressor. If you have enough space for the bowl in your freezer and don't mind freezing it overnight before you make your ice cream, the IC30 is an excellent choice. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And you can also check out my other reviews and ice cream recipes on my blog at icecreamscience.com.